Hello, people. I am back again. Uh, I'm still on uh, my Easter break, <laughs> relaxing at the village. But uh, I want to bring to you quickly the um, issue of Atiku not being a Nigerian. Atiku is not a Nigerian, APC tells Tribuna. The All Progressive Congress, APC, and the winner of the February 23, 2019 presidential election has filed a motion at the presidential election petition tribunal in Abuja that the candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the poll, Al-Haji Atiku Abubakar, is not a Nigerian and therefore not qualified to have stood for the election. The party claimed that the former vice president is a Cameroonian and not a Nigerian citizen, and his petition against President Mahmoudou Buhari, its own, its own candidate, should be dismissed for lacking in merit. In a reply to the petition of Atiku and the PDP praying for their declaration as the lawful winner of the presidential poll, the APC said that the 11.1 million votes recorded in favor of the two petitioners should be voided and considered a waste by the presidential election petition tribunal. The APC's reply to the petition, filed by its led counsel, Latif Fagbemi, faulted the candidacy of Atiku in the election, insisting that as a Cameroonian, he ought not to have taken part in the presidential poll of Nigeria in the first instance. <laughs> this is really funny. The party averred that Atiku was born on November 25, 1946 in Jada Adamawa in northern Cameroon and is therefore a citizen of Cameroon and not a Nigerian by birth. Going down memory lane, APC claimed that prior to 1919, Cameroon was being administered by Germany and that, and that following the defeat of Germany in World War I, which ended, ended, ended in 1918, 1918, Cameroon became part of a League of Nations mandate territory which consisted of French Cameroon and British Cameroon in 1919. APC further argued that in 1961, a plebiscite, a plebiscite was held in British Cameroon to determine whether the people preferred to stay in Cameroon or align with Nigeria. According to the party, why Northern Cameroon preferred a union with Nigeria and Southern Cameroon chose alignment with the mother country and that it was as a result of the plebiscite that Northern Cameroon, which included Adamawa came a part of Nigeria. APC therefore said that contrary to the assertion of Atiku in his petition, he, Atiku, had no right to be voted for as a candidate in the election to the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria held on February 23, 2019. The party averred that by reason of Atiku not having qualified to contest the election, all votes purportedly cast for him and the PDP in the February 23rd election are wasted votes. I will thank God and appreciate God for using the Association of Past Criminals, some people call it APC, to really open up the can of worms with respect to the question about who is a Nigeria truly. Honestly speaking, and I want to tell you categorically speaking that it is only Atiku and his Adamawa people that can truly say they are Nigerians. Yes, let me talk up. Make I now hear you well. It is only the Adama people through referendum decided out of their own free will to be part of Nigeria since the creation of Nigeria. During the time the colonial masters created Nigeria by Lord Lugard and his concubine, they did not consult anyone. They conscripted everyone that has seen himself entrapped in this British colonial contraction called Nigeria. None was consulted to whether or not like to be part of what you call Nigeria today. So, I've been issue from the beginning. There was nothing like Nigeria. Have you asked yourself this question? 
before colonial masters, who am I? Who are my ancestors? Or don't they have a country of their own? Or don't they have their indigenous identity as a nation before the English people came to colonize them? Are we asking ourselves valid questions? Before 1914, even some of these people, even Zeke, Zeke of all people, he was born before 1914. Yes. Then, are you asking who is a Nigerian and who is not a Nigerian? To be honest with you, the Biafran people, they are not Nigerians. The Yoruba people, the Oduduwas, they are no Nigerians. The Arewas, they are no Nigerians. Nobody is truly a Nigerian. That is the truth of the matter. Because this APC in their desperation to fortify and consolidate that thing they called election that just happened in Nigeria, they have opened the can of worms. Who is then a Nigerian? If Atiku is not a Nigerian because he was born at the time when they are still Cameroonians, and through referendum, they, they, they joined to become part of Nigeria. Then, who then is a Nigerian? By birth. Even some of us who are born as Nigerians, do our fathers, even me personally, do I still or do I even believe that I'm a Nigerian? I am not a Nigerian. My indigenous identity is my true identity. I'm a Biafran. So are you watching me? Whether you are Arewa or Duduwa or whatever any nationality you came from in Nigeria, we are all conscripted to be part of this country, this colonial contraption you call a country. Now, some of you will also ask, what of those during or between 1967 to 1970, the Biafran children that were born within that time, they were born as Biafrans. They have Biafran birth certificate. Are they Nigerians? No, they are not. But today, they are all forced to answer Nigerians. Who then is a Nigerian? So, you choose who is a Nigerian when it suits you and who is not a Nigerian when it suits you. Eh? Eh, what? So, this is what the, the, this oligarchy has turned everybody into. If you have not realized this scam called Nigeria, I mean, let me tell you, you better wake up. You better wake up. It's so unfortunate that people, even the educated ones, are not asking these questions. They are not. Because everybody is just busy doing nothing. Now, have you asked yourself, how come these guys are trying so well to reduce the territory of the South, I mean the Biafran territory, and to increase the Northern territory? Don't ask me that question. Let me now tell you. The Bakasi Peninsula was an integral part of Nigeria from the Biafran side, the Biafran territory, the southern Nigeria. They ceded it away to Cameroon and through referendum added to the land mass or space of the north. So they are reducing, tactically reducing the south and increasing the north. And you say that my people do not have rights to question whether or not to remain in Nigeria. It is a shame, a monumental shame, the shame of the century for us to allow people who do not reason properly, who do not care about the, the aspiration of their people to continue representing you in government. Because why we are still in this mess is because those who you have as government officials are stupid. They are idiots. They don't ask questions. They are there to continue validating this British colonial contraption. Let me talk about Yes. 
Now, have you asked yourself, Nigeria is a product of colonization. What benefit have colonization done to an average African? What is the main motive for colonization in the first place? Is it not for economic exploitation, subjugation, intimidation of the owners of the land? That is exactly what those modernized, you know, refurbished black colonizers of their people inherited from their white um, masters. Yes. Their pre pre predecessors. Hmm? These colonial contraption have continued to exhibit, continued to reproduce, continued to manifest the foundational principle it was established upon. Colonization, subjugation, intimidation, exploitation, killing of the people without mercy. That is exactly what anyone in Nigeria and other African countries have benefited. Because it has been instructed. Even the Bible rule that goes to church will agree with me. That they say, if the foundations are faulty, what will the righteous do? The foundation of Nigeria, which is laid upon colonization, upon this things I've talked about, how do you then expect to have a better society, to have a development that is going to add value to the people? How do you expect? Do you ever expect that something good will come from hellfire? This is an animal kingdom. What we have here is a jungle. It's a jungle established by the British colonial masters. How do you think and expect to buy a television in your house and expect it to give you chilling atmosphere like AC? No. No, it doesn't work that way. AC is built and constructed to give you that chilling, cool atmosphere. Television is meant to give you visual entertainment. No matter how well you try, Nigeria can never, Nigeria, I say, can never stop producing after its kind or what it was established for. That is the reason why people like us will continue to challenge this foundation until it is hauled down and the people left to decide for themselves whom they truly are. Get everybody to answer their own name to your tent, oh Nigerians. To your tent, oh British contraption. Everybody go answer your name. We are Biafrans. I want to give you an expository or historic aspect to what I'm telling you. Because I saw it in a book written by Baris Demeka Emekesu. And you will now understand the historical perspective to all this. Nigeria is a creation from three sovereign nations. Zamfara in the north, Benin in the west, and Biafra in the east. In the ancient map of Africa of 1843, Biafra was spelled out clearly, showing the modern-day Cameroon, disputed territory of Bakasi Peninsula, and beyond within Biafran land. Biafra has been existing as a sovereign nation dated back 14th century, which lost her sovereignty on 18th century. The current map of Nigeria has proved the ancient map of Africa to be correct, having Zamfara in the north, Benin still in the west, and Biafra territory in the east, which borders southern Cameroon, including Bakasi Peninsula. These represent the three main regions of Nigeria during the First Republic, North, West, and East, of which East remained Biafra land during and after the war. Maybe in my subsequent expository, I'm going to you know, go deeper than this. Let me tell you, if you think that by sitting idly on the social media and do nothing, 
without joining the political revolution because that is where everything is anchored upon. Because until we have people who are politically strong, those that have political will to challenge this structure, to challenge this British establishment, they, we will continue lamenting, crying, and continue being victimized by this British colonial contraption. I want to end it here. But without saying that the political revolution have already started. The North have already kicked that. They are challenging the establishment of this country and what the politicians are doing, even Buhari to his face. The authorities that are benefiting from the killing of innocent citizens. And they will come and sit down here, they will keep you here protecting them. What are you protecting? Egypt, useless people that are supposed to be killed. They have killed more than 1,000 people. They have killed a lot of people in Nigeria. Buhari deserves to be killed because he's a criminal. You should stop wasting your time. They don't pay you allowances. They invest in your resources. They keep you under the sun. They sit now under the AC and this not how to invest in your own resources and subject you into actual poverty and hunger. Can we continue like this? That is the reason of this poverty in Nigeria. They intentionally subjected the masses into actual poverty and hunger in such a way that you cannot think of the resources. You cannot think of ruling Nigeria. You only think of what, how to, to get 20 naira and buy a cup of gari and feed your family. Look at it. Is this the change we want in this country? The change that promotes, you know, killing of citizens? The change that increased forward prices in this country? When Jonathan removed the subsidy, what happens in Nigeria? People come out in mass and protest it. Buhari led the protest. Buhari and Nasir Erbai. But today, Buhari, the, immediately he come into power, he made the floor 145 from 95 Naira to the Jonathan. Eight today, as I'm speaking to you now, they have increased the floor price to 180 Naira. Is this what you want in this country? Where are they taking this money? What, what have this administration done to these citizens of Nigeria? Killing? Do we vote for killing? We know that they gave you power, Muhammad Buhari. Your foreign masters gave you power not because you deserve it. You have lost the election and they fabricated the result and announced you as the winner. We don't care. Even if Atiku become the president of Nigeria tomorrow, they may, they may influence him to kill his own citizens because Nigerians are, they are senseless, the leader. So we know Buhari did not win any election. He was given this power by force. Of course, they gave you power. Or stop killing innocent citizens of Nigeria. If not, you will face the consequences. The power has its, its limited time. You just have to it. If you like, amend the constitution and come back for another eight years. You shall finish and we shall meet in filling station. We shall meet in naming ceremony. We shall meet either in wedding ceremony, Muhammad Wari, you can never escape killing of 1,000 people out of Texas again. And putting them in a mass barrier. This is 21st century. This is 21st century. You have killed followers of Sheikh Zezeki. You have detained Sheikh Zezeki because he's speaking against your tyranny and oppression. But for your important information, you are just keeping Zezeki in detention for Zezeki's movement is at the doorstep of your villa. And if, the, if it continues like this, if it continues like this, should anything happen, whatever comes up, Buhari should bear the consequences. The security should not say we did not tell you. We cannot fold our hands and allow them to kill our leader. We cannot fold our hands and allow these criminals to be killing innocent citizens in Nigeria, being then Christian or Muslim. Islamic movement is fighting for justice. Islamic movement is calling for the unity of the masses to come and challenge these oppressors at all costs. Because the only way of stopping tyranny and oppression in a country is for the oppressed to come out and challenge the oppressors at all costs. And therefore, we are ready to challenge this oppression. Oppression. We are ready to fight this injustice in Nigeria till the last drop of our blood. As you can see me speaking, I'm 32 years old. I'm a graduate, and I am ready to die for the cause of these citizens, for, for the citizens of Nigeria to have a conducive atmosphere to live in peace. At a wedding, it is already gearing up. Today is the day we have been waiting for. Wow! Okay, we're going to put in a good newspaper. Put in a left foot. Put in a left foot. Can you go to the Zio? I 
No more will we, will we be subjected to oppression. Will we be subjected to hunger and poverty? Be subjected to barbarism, Ususuism, Mumuism. Yoruba people, make una carry lands that one on a business. To be honest with you, or no one at the end see on you. Yes! Make everybody go carry in your own shit. As far as Nigeria is concerned, I've continued saying it that the revolution that will happen in Nigeria will not be widespread. It is going to be regional. People should go back home and start a revolution. Political revolution. That is what I'm talking about. People should go back home and start a revolution. Ndibo, come back home. Let's fix here. How's that people go back to your homeland and fix your homeland? I like what this guy did. That is what we're talking about. Even the police, the army, all of you carrying guns up and down. You are victims. Protecting idiots that have ruined your lives. It is now or never. Join the political revolution. We have already started it in the southwest. And we're taking over. Trust me. It is not going to be business as usual. I will end it up here. Make sure you continue subscribing, continue sharing, continue explaining what we're doing because right here, we see it, we say it. We are not just a media platform. BVI Channel 1 is a movement. Be part of it. Thank you for watching. Till I see you next time, let me go and continue enjoying my holiday. This is Easter. Happy Easter. Goodbye. Thank you.